Welcome, welcome, welcome to this stream. This is uh, Extreme Landing. So uh, just bear with me for one minute, guys, because we have a delay happening right now. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just direct you guys over to here and uh, just bear with me. I'll be right back all right? because uh, we have a major delay happening from the LAX air airport area so i'll be right back okay sorry about that guys
Okay, guys, I'm back. So, uh, again, thank you for taking the time out to join me right here on uh, Extreme Landing. This is going to be uh, episode three, season one. And uh, check this out. I haven't even started the game yet. <laughs> All right, so we have some flights uh, happening. Uh, well, actually, we from out of... Uh, out of um, Los Angeles. Uh, last time you guys joined me, I was um, flying from Los Angeles to Honolulu, and I made it there. And I know, like, it was kind of like a kind of um, not tough, but it was more like um, it was like more like. Uh, uh oh, hold on. Let me see what this. No, no, no. Go downstairs. Go downstairs. All right. All right. Anyway, so um, all right. So again, thank you guys so much. Wait, am I am I here? Am I here? Am I here? Am I here? Am I, here? Am I, here? I gotta bring this up loud and see here. But all right, doesn't doesn't. All right, cool. So um, I gotta keep forgetting to pause this when I do it. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fly from Los Angeles to um, JFK. And I'm going to do what I did the other day. And when I flew to, um, to, uh, uh, to um, Honolulu, I'm using the game Extreme Landing. And I'll be flying the Arrow... Master, and this time I'll be flying some PPDs, PPEs. I'll be flying um, also some gloves, sanitizers, and uh, we have a casket on board. Nobody's in a casket. Uh, we have um, a copy machine. We also have some paper and lumber. And that's all going to be delivered to New York. Uh, from Los Angeles, but right now we have a delay. So let me see. I need to um, see something real quick. Um, all right, somebody's calling. Hold on. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like every time when I want to go live, somebody always want to try to hit me up. Like, come on, man. I'm live, and you want to hit me up? Like, come on, man. All right. So, like I was saying, um. I'm going to be flying from JFK, I mean, from LAX to JFK. So, uh, okay, so let me just go to the game. I'm going to um, put this off, and then I'm going to go to the game. All right. Get, get up in the air because this is a long game, and, you know, it is what it is. All right, so let me just make it like that and do it like this. All right, cool. So, again, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to be picking this. Uh, I think I was doing some, like, testing on here. It was kind of confusing, too. Like, seriously, it's confusing. All right, anyway, flight simulator. Uh, I, I, yeah, I was doing it from Philadelphia because... I was playing real time, um, you know, because it was a storm and everything. And I was like trying to fly the plane in the storm and I crashed like two times. All right. So we're going to be flying all this stuff to JFK. And I did a couple of um, landing and I think it's 15 waypoints. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. So my last one is going to be GEPG. -E -E. Okay, so let me just make sure I have this. Like, just bear with me, guys, because uh, the last time when I flew over to Honolulu, I was confused, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be confused this time, because I'm going to write down this waypoint. So, it is Tuesday. Hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. Um, I know y'all was like, well, um, you know... People were hitting me up from the last time I was talking on here and I was talking about T.S. Madison and Geo and everything. Well, they sent me to school on the uh, conversation between Oliver and T.S. Madison. So I'll be talking to that, talking to you guys about that in the sky when we're uh, at probably 39,000 feet in the sky. And uh, I'm going to be talking to you. I've seen parts of the video, but I, I don't I don't even know, like... You know, I don't even know. Uh, did Gio even say anything about um, Oliver? I mean, I don't really know. I just know that he responded, clap back, or whatever. Now I need a pen. Okay, just hold on, you guys. I know I'm like, I feel like I'm holding on. Okay, I need a pen. I need a pen. I need a pen. I need a pen. Out of all these areas, how is it that I don't have a pen? And I usually have a pen right here with me. Okay, sorry about that. We are on some delay crap. I told y'all. Take my pens. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, anyway. Um, all right. So yeah, so let me just write this down real quick. So we have a waypoint. My last waypoint is going to be G E E. Let's see, G E P G E as the last waypoint. And then uh altitude is going to drop. You know, straight from thirty nine thousand because it's gonna be thirty nine thousand over. I don't know how how the weather. I'm gonna play realistic weather too. Uh, I might play a um, I might play a, a a little you know problem. Hopefully, it doesn't happen like mid flight and then you know, and then what plane I'm using? I'm using a cargo plane. All right, so let me just do this real quick, you guys um because it's like autopilot so i just want to make sure that i know so you know i'm at the speed of time we're going to be going over some mountains but we i don't think we're going to see that so we're going to be going through a couple of states here right like california we got you know, going past colorado springs minneapolis are well, we going to go somewhere around chicago maybe we should stop in chicago real quick like do a detour like do I come from like doop doop and then come over maybe pick up some people i don't know all right so let's confirm it's not even pick up people kareem you're you're, you're gonna be driving like uh driving you're gonna be flying like a cargo uh plane right all right cool so los angeles jfk we have a delay all right i'm gonna go ahead and have the uh, aircraft here i'm gonna set it up to where it's a lot of fuel no passengers and like i told you what we have on here we have a whole bunch of People, we have a whole bunch of masks on here, sanitizers. We have a couple of caskets on here. We have um, some lumber, paper. We have uh, uh, a couple of fax machines. We have uh, a lot of mail, a lot of post postal parcel services, okay? So we're gonna put the load like, like that, right? And then the, this is the failure, like no failures, low failures average failures high failures i don't got time for that man like seriously i ain't never played with no failure see my belt still under trainee you said trainee i'm still a trainee so i ain't got no business flying no plane anyway okay so we're gonna take off and um i'm gonna change the weather so i either have real situation random or uh setting so since it's 
uh, real. I'm gonna go ahead and do real. It's about seven o'clock over there, so the sun is going down over there. So we shall see. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take off. All right, so that's the weather. So we have built, um, we have completed um, fuel. Okay, so uh, this is our plane here, and I'm just gonna go ahead up in the sky. Yeah, I'm sorry about the uh, sound or whatever. If you guys, you guys can hear me, right? Yeah, I think you guys can hear me, right? I'll usually do a sound check. Just give me one second. Let me just go ahead and crank up these uh, engines real quick. So by the time I'm finished, I could just go ahead and, you know. All right, so we just do that. View inside. We're going to pop that. Then we're going to go ahead and do two and pop that. Then we're going to do three and pop that. That's the third engine. And then, um, hold on, I just need to do a sound check, you guys. Let me see. Oh, my small girl candy. And then we're going to go ahead and do four and then pop that. Yep, see? Yep, you're doing good right now. Oh, I'm, I got you. Alright. Okay, so we have a sound check. Okay, cool. So, um, and I think I have to like uh, over, like be loud here because I do know those engines are loud. So, um, boom. Now that we have those engines, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that like that. I'm gonna do this and we're gonna go ahead and take off, right? I still don't know how to open that back. I still don't know how to open it back, but anyway. All right, we got the engines. Oh, and something else I learned, which I also want to make a correction when I said in my first episode, I said uh, all planes, like planes don't have flat. Well, all planes have flat. This plane has flat. So what I'm going to do is keep it flat. I'm going to go ahead and do that up here, and I'm going to go ahead and put those flaps down. So we should see them going down, which is right here. Okay? And then we're going to go ahead and take off. We do have clearance from uh, from tower control. Uh, we are able to take off. Okay, we're already at the runway. We had to line up on a runway. Okay. All right. In three, two, one. All right, so we got Clarence uh, from uh, Los Angeles on our way to JFK. I know you guys joined me uh, when I flew from here, this same airport, going to Honolulu. That was a long flight. All right, so we are here. We are about to go up. I'm thinking that we shall uh, wait. Uh, maybe we see. Right. Uh-oh. Come on, baby. All right, uh, what I like to do is uh, flap. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Flap up. And then I need to um, bring this up like so. Uh, I'm just gonna like climb it up real. Um, Oh, that's pretty. Oh, we got the real situation, so we got to throw some clouds. Um, um, let us see. We go. I think we're gonna go pretty high on this one. Last time I was traveling, when I went to Honolulu, I was going about 25 miles per hour. I mean, miles per hour. Uh, the feet. So here, uh, let's go ahead and reach uh, 10,000, and then we're going to probably climb the highest max is about. 39,000. Okay. All right, so we still climbing. All right, bye bye to Los Angeles. Okay. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this. Uh, let's see. Let's 
still climbing. Yeah, we're still climbing up. Not too high, not too climbing high. Like, don't keep. Because last time I did that, and my plane went back, and I almost. I, actually, I crashed. Actually, I was doing some um, flight lessons from uh, the airport over here at JFK, like landing in earlier in the, uh, the weather. Okay, so we're about 10,000. I'm going to go ahead and turn manually, like, just got to level this out right now. Uh, I'm just going to be trying some new views with you guys, too. Like, I'm, like, never played these views either, so. All right, boom. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and point the waypoint, which we would probably need to turn our left. Oh, we can do right. Right, right. Okay, right. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn mama. Okay, and match her up like right here. Boom. All right, boom, boom, boom. Match up, match up, match up, match up. Match up. And bam. All right, so we're going to be going this way. I don't have to be on here. When we get to, uh, when we get to the uh, autopilot, we will definitely have it already. All the pilots just automatically Okay, so boom, there is uh, the airport we just took off from, LAX, and we are going to um, JFK. All right, so uh, yeah, matter of fact, let me go ahead and do autopilot for. Um, uh, all right, let me just put it on heading sixty four. Okay, she failed. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put up like all 14,000. We're just going to climb up to 15 steady and then just uh, put at 393. And then once when we get to our uh, waypoint, uh, our first waypoint, we're just going to climb and increase the speed. All right. So again, we are um, leaving from LAX airport over there. And we're heading to JFK and New York. Okay, so, um, yeah, and we're playing real weather. And we're not really playing, um, oh, matter of fact, you know what? Just, let me pause this real quick. I know it's going to be a little delay a little. Let me just take this off real quick so you guys can just see everything. Um, resume. So you guys can see everything. I'm not really sure how long this fight is either, but I do know that at some point I'm not going to always have it in this view. I will do what I did when I uh, went to Halu, Halu, my other screen. I went to Auto Map and I fast forwarded to you guys at some point just to speed up because I already know it's going to take under over two hours. We're flying across the country. Then we fly in a different time zone. So the time zone and everything will probably be different. I know the weather is. Okay. So yeah, so we're actually hitting it, hitting it. We're on our way to JFK and New York City. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. We got some cargo, uh, no passengers, just the crew people. And, uh, you know, we don't have any, I, like I said, that double-decker plane was like, okay, are you going to really... Uh, fly that plane because I was just gonna like I mean you guys didn't know because I didn't specifically say like what plane I was going to fly let alone the cargo which I'm pretty familiar with this air airplane uh, the um, double decker not so pretty uh, into that one because I have a problem with crashing with that plane and again uh, you know there is a jet on here the business jet that I have and I just don't know how to ride that, you know. But this plane here, uh, I actually, matter of fact, uh, when I was um, 
doing some practice over there landing and uh, JFK during the storm earlier because you know playing real time it plays the real uh, you know time and everything uh, live like seriously this is live like real time weather live online so uh, I landed this plane this plane right here I landed it sideways I was like what and I landed it like this I landed it this view like I didn't land it like you know normally like how it would land you know because I need to see but this plane here what one thing what I've learned about X plane 11 and I keep saying it is that always they always teach you to line your runway up with this the, the front of your heading like your border the dashboard so uh, that's where I get that from. So now, you know, I, I actually landed in this plane, uh, you know, like this, okay? And actually, uh, I was going over the clouds. It was a lot of rain when I got down. And I was eight, and that was the time when I was literally, literally using my rudders. Because your rudders is at the back. It's like the back of the tail. Like, okay, you can't see it here, but these these i'm gonna flap it's not gonna move because it's in the auto but i'm gonna flap you see that's your rudder right oh it still works in auto but um hold on let's let's flap it back into uh the pink part okay so those are your rudder and i literally had to use that to land uh at jfk when it was uh raining really with that okay so, uh, yeah, so we're actually doing it, and we're in the sky, and, um, apparently, um, I don't know, like, I don't think we have any weather problems, uh, I don't, like I said, I don't think that this radar is working here. Navigation. Yeah, I don't know if we have anything coming up, or if it's literally working, but I do know when we get to this waypoint, uh, I know we have 15 waypoints, and I'm gonna speed it up. Um, I could already speed it up. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed it up real right now. So we could just get that max speed. But then again, I totally forgot this plane does not go 500 miles per hour. It only goes 275, but it's already going to the top speed. So uh, usually at some point, I'm just gonna go ahead and press this button here and just, you know, speed up. Because again, like I said, uh, when I play this game, it's definitely going to be, it's not to speed up because it is a long flight going to uh, JFK, right? Alright, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, climb up to 20,000 feet. I'm going to climb up to 23. We have uh, confirmation from air traffic control to so climb up from our waypoint. And, uh, yeah, we're on our way to JFK in uh, New York City. We are climbing up. Okay, you see the sun and the uh, shadow off of that. It's beautiful, right? Okay, we might have to change our uh, uh, way area, so let's see, boom, it's telling us to 66 it. Okay, so we 66 it, we have 25,000 feet, we're doing our max 370, whoopsie. Da 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 da. Okay. All right. So boom. Here we go. Hold on.
Okay. Uh, so yeah, my bad. So let's go ahead and go into the auto and let's go ahead and time it to speed it up. And yeah, man. Um, again, this is another episode of Extreme Thank those who are here. Thank those who are on their way. All right. Okay. Um. All right, boom. So I am live on Facebook, and I'm live on uh, YouTube, right? So I want to say thank you guys for tuning in. We're doing this Tuesday night flight with uh, with um, Spring Landing. All right, so we are now at our waypoint here. We have uh, we're going to be going here. And we're already doing max speed. So once we get our waypoint, we will definitely uh, continue to climb up to 30,000 feet. Okay, waypoint is telling us to go to 69. Okay, and first waypoint out of 15, so 70, and we're going to climb up to uh, 30, 35,000 feet. Patty is asking us for 71. PGS had net has padding, next padding. Yeah. Next heading. Okay. Boom. We are climbing up into the sky. Alright, we see a little bit of water down there. We see a land and everything. Uh so I do want to say that um if you guys are just joining me, I am playing Extreme Landing episode three. I am uh, going from LAX to JFK with a delay flight due to hurricane to the hurricane. Uh, episode three, please join me right here, right now. I'm just taking off from the airport, and yeah, we're in the sky. So yeah, so um. Yeah, so actually we don't have any um, we don't have uh, any staff on here to, on a plane to assist us. So we have our own snacks that we bring with us to eat. You know, I guess when we have our delays, uh, it's pretty much, you know, it is like this. So. Alright, boom. So uh, yeah, so Alright, so people were like, Well, are you gonna respond to the whole Oliver and T.S. Madison. Well, first, I want to say that um, T.S. Madison is in, uh, she's in L.A. I think she's in, no, she's in California. Burbank. That's what she said. Yeah, Burbank. And I know, like, um, recently, G.L., her manager, had put out some, um, you know, statements. Hold on, let me see something. Give me one second. Oh, how you doing? Okay, we just want to, um, uh, hold on. Thank you so much for joining. I had to uh, stop that for this. And put Okay, so yeah, so um, Gio, he had went off, and it could be never over. I, I don't care what anybody say, it could never be over. The damage is done, you already damaged, you made the damage, you did the damage. You can't undo it. Uh, 
I think you did that when you first started out with this whole BS when you decided to talk about Madison and you decided to, um, you know, uh, pretty much put the story out there when you said you were done with her, but it is what it is. You know people can have rebuttals, so just uh, deal with it. You said what you said, and I don't know what you mean. I don't think you think, I don't think you say that you really meant what you said, because first of all, everybody believes and know you meant what you said because you put it out there. Because if you didn't mean what you said, then you wouldn't have broadcast any of that stuff that you said about Madison out on social media network. Not only that, T.S. Madison is blowing up in society. She has, and she's just getting a little bit more recognized as, as she get older. And the work that she does is amazing. So I want to say who else to her. But my thing is that I wanted to say this for the record. T.S. Madison is your past client. And when, I don't know about anybody else, but when you have a job or get a job, you have what is called references. And when you have someone who is a superstar, who is a millionaire, who is a celebrity, who is a uh, entertainer, can reference that speaks volume and in truth. So what you said about her was definitely, definitely not volume and not true because you would never get a reference from her. You already said what you said. You exposed her name. You exposed her real name. You exposed the things that you say as far as like money wise you put it all out there on air you showed the air and everybody papers how much Madison was paying you how much she gave you through PayPal and also through Cash App who wanted to hear all that you said she had spider webs on her house uh, she has somebody said she had HIV medication in her bag and that the fact is, is that you know uh, somebody from her clique is definitely coming to your clique through your um uh, through the uh, sorry through the uh, Patreon page that's paying five dollars that you told us that you gave her because she needs the money. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, we are just not in this wave point. I know, like when we get to stuff like this, we're gonna change time zone. We're gonna go ahead and uh, turn this heading to seventy. Oh no, wrong baby, wrong, 72. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go to 39,000 feet. Actually, we're gonna travel 40. You can go higher than that? Nope, I don't think you're gonna higher than 40,000. We're gonna go 40,000 feet. That's the highest. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, man, it's just, it's not funny, because when you're looking for a reference check from somebody from T.S. Madison, it's like, you will never get that, because you just have to go back, you will have to rewatch, you say what you said, and it's all allegedly. We don't know. People can falsify documents. I don't think T.S. Madison will ever express and expose her business out there like that. Even if it was between y'all two, it was between y'all two, not between you, her, and the world. But I guess messy people, isn't that what Chi-Chi say? Messy! Messy, messy! That's what Chi-Chi say. And he said that even Chi-Chi the late TSE, Mama Mary, Dee Dee, whoever that is, has a fallout with uh, Madison. Oh, I'm sorry, Oliver. And I guess this will Oliver clap back. Okay, so, I don't know. It was just in the beginning. He may not have said nothing. Maybe Gio, Gio may have, the formal manager may have not said anything 
uh, about him in the last two videos that he expressed himself to uh, Madison. But the first video he did, because he told the world, and especially me, that Chi Chi had got arrested. Right? So, uh, and then he also said something about Oliver. He said that Oliver and all of them over there at T.S. Madison House is sucking her because they got to uh, kiss her because, you know, she's the big, you feel me? So, you know, that's what he said in the beginning. And that shocked the hell out of me because I was like, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. But then this one, this this third video, you know, he talked about my Mary like a dog. How can you bring in T.S. Madison's mama? Oh, well, you know where she get it from. She get it from her mama. And I'm like, damn. Like, wow, are you serious? Like, he's really exposing something that is allegedly. Did you not understand that from the Queen Supreme Court? But my thing, you know when I gag people, you know how, when I gag, I gag because, um, let me go ahead and um, change this view real quick because I think this is very important for my um, view screen. Look like the sun is going down. That's beautiful, right? Yes. Okay, so we're on our way to um, JFK from LAX, and we're actually the highest in the top 40,000 game can go. <coughs> but, um, but yeah, so you put Miss Mary in this. Like, you, um, said Miss Mary don't even call her by her name and all this other stuff. Like, Miss Mary don't have anything to do with this. This is between, again, you and T.S. Madison. And that just shows people out there in society today that if you're ever thinking about getting T.S. Madison, formal manager, to represent you in whatever lifestyle or however management you're supposed to do, whether or not it's entertainment, comedian, publisher, or whatever, don't. It is bad business, bad publicity, because what he did to her, he can do to you. And it's just really sad that somebody who is in the field, he said he owns a business. How can you own a business and you're exposing people? You don't expose people like that. If you're going to expose people, then take them the legal and action way. Don't use social media as a publicity stunt to actually say, well, hey, since I have my MS and page, and I can do whatever I can do on my page. No, motherfucker. It's not your page. It's actually Mark Zuckerberg's. Okay? It's actually Facebook. You're just renting a spot until you either delete your page or you pass away and your page becomes memorialized. That's it. Or uh, Facebook ban you or uh, put you in timeout for 24 or 72 or however they want to do it. Okay? That's who your page belongs to. So when you have people come on in and comment and stuff, then you got to take it for what it is, honey. And you know, you told everybody, you was like, well, uh, the same people that's over there and her Patreon, they coming over here talking to me, telling me what it is. But first of all, you had to pay. First of all, that's a contradictory story because you had to pay on the Patreon to talk to see her talk about you. So if these people are on there and they're fans of her and they're on the Patreon, they coming back to tell you what you want to do. Why did you have to pay? Oh, I'm sorry because you said she needed the money. Madison needed the money because she's broke. I can't tell she broke because she in L.A. She's doing her thing. She's working. She's not complaining and... and talking about people's business and, and, and the bad flosses that she had with people because I'm sure there's a million things she could say about you. Oh, I'm sorry. She's saying it already. According to you, allegedly saying it already in her Patreon. That's why you paid $5 to go see her. You had to give her $5. Okay. So I'm talking too much. Let me just go to uh, this. We have to change our headings to 65. The other way, please. Okay. Okay, 65, and I'm going to speed that up, fine, alright, so, yeah, so, um, it is what it is, 
If somebody paying me and my Patreon or my OnlyFans page, then they're going to want the tea, honey. They're going to want the absolute tea. Because if they don't have the tea, what the hell are they paying for? Hello, somebody. Hmm. I didn't really... Only thing that I've seen on other for Twix Instagram which was posted to Facebook, YouTube, with T.S. Madison at the bottom, and Oliver at the top. All I seen was he was just twerking, and that's it. And, yeah, that's all I seen. So, I was just, you know, like, why do you even have to respond to the haters? I'm sorry, I won't say his name. The formal manager for Madison uh, is just, he's, he's got a loose mouth. And he actually called T.S. Madison mental midget. How do you call somebody a mental midget? What the hell is a mental midget? I don't even know what that is. But according to him, that's Madison. A mental midget. And she don't like nobody. That's what he said. But I'm here to tell you, honey, you have to be, you got to get your stuff together and you have to definitely, definitely get your act together because people are not going to be able to work with you and have you managing them and you doing the same to what you did to her, going to do to them. You probably already did it already and broke, broke bridges between them, okay? And they just don't, you know, they don't, they're not the type of person who's go out there and rant and rave, but there are probably a lot of people that just to talk about what you did. But I can't just believe, like, you just missed the perfect. Like, seriously. You're not the perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, you said you are on, you're, you're not HIV positive, you're on, you're, you're on prep. No prep. Allegedly, that's what you said. No prep. So, if you're on prep, then it means that you're having unprotected sex? Oh. not to wear any protection. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, but somebody had allegedly said that. Yeah, that's what you said. That's what you said. You put that out there in the world, bro. So, I'm not making none of this stuff up. This is what you say. Okay, that's the idea. Words. They say, anything you say can be used against you. Okay, and this part is not a court of law. It's anything can be used against you. You put that out there so we can use it. Uh, it's, it's all there, and I'm just saying what you said. Okay, you saying somebody said Madison uh, saw HIV medication in her bag. That's not nothing to play with, bro. Like, seriously, that's not nothing to play with. Oh, then there's somebody going to be like, well, you came back with a rebuttal and said, no, that's what you say, bitch. Use my language, but that's what you say. I don't play when it comes to somebody saying anything about whether or not they seen uh, cancer medicine in their bag or, um, you know, HIV medication. It doesn't matter what you've seen. Heart pills. How do you know? Oh, because you want to be messy. Or you want to be messy, messy, messy. And you want to pull the publicity side. It's not going to work. I think it's going to work because you feel that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's happening in, in your neck of the hood. And that you pretty much feel that, you know, um, you're doing it because of your MF page and and you know you created that page and you know it is what it is so yeah okay i knew that was gonna happen i was about to say we were gonna change the time zone okay so before i continue on i want to stop and say happy 59th birthday to barack obama his birthday today is august uh my president happy 59th birthday to barack obama 44th united states president of the united states of america all right, my next point is somebody. Uh, okay, so yeah, so prayers is continuing to be uh, up in the name of Jesus. Like I said, I've been praying for the speedy recovery of my friend, who is now going to be transferred to a uh, physical therapy facility. Matter of fact, he's actually going to be transferred to the same facility that Luke Devandross was in, Casanova and East Orange 
Uh, yeah. So he's gonna be here, and uh, you know, his girlfriend is doing a great job and helping and being by his side. And you know, I want to thank her, you know, for doing all she can do for him. Uh, that's nothing but the blessing of the Lord. Okay, and you know, that's uh, nothing but true love in the name of Jesus. Okay, so um, shout out to him. You guys see me post photos of him on my uh, Facebook social media page. I've also um, changed my uh, main picture to my brother's. This is my brother. The short, quick story. Their mother, Miss Leona Crawford, the late Leona Crawford, who passed away, uh, took me in a long time ago. I can say over 20 years ago, honey. Uh, my friend uh, here, I've known this family for over 20 years, okay, and it's just been um, a high roller coaster between everybody, so, you know, sometimes, you know, we move on and, you know, we doing our thing and stuff, so, you know, their, their, uh, their mother, the lady on the Crawford, she took me in as a uh, parent, you know, and, and, and me and Sheeny, we known each other long time from uh, you know high school and grammar school, and you know he came over. To, he's actually my oh my god, this boy is oh man. He you know I talk about my adopted mom and my adopted family. Like you know he met my adopted mom. Like he's actually literally the only one besides Elias and Carlton and everybody else who I went to school with. You know, they uh, met my, 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 my adopted mother, who anniversary is coming up on the 22nd of uh, this month, along with Uncle Mike's birthday. Okay, so we are going to have to turn heading uh, 75, I believe. Oh, no, come on. 75. Okay, so let's take a look outside and see what we see out here. Uh, this is beautiful. Um, look out here. Okay, so the sun is going down. Uh, come on. And okay. okay. All right. Again, we are uh, heading to JFK from Los Angeles, and we are in this cargo plane, and I am delivering some cargo mail. To uh, JFK, right? Oh, there's the moment. Man. That's beautiful. Okay, so shout out to him, and uh, you know I'll keep you guys updated on his company. Oh, and okay, so my brother, so uh, Will and Will, there's the two Wills at side of my pictures. That was his brother. Those are my family, my brothers. And he's in the middle. Okay, so uh, I do want to say a couple of things. All right, first of all, I do want to talk about um, Love and Hip Hop Saucy uh, Santana, okay, accused of being inappropriate with child at a gay pool party. Now, clearly, I know I shared this post up there, but come on now. You actually uh, look as stupid. Because you're actually there on camera talking about you letting people having sex with you, and you even said you uh, you even said kids even have sex with you. You're nasty. You're disgusting. Okay, the video is on my page. I don't care how people could um, support love and hip hop, saucy Santana. Are you crazy, mother ucker? You're disgusting. And then not only that, you're gonna turn around and say. I didn't say that, I didn't say that, I didn't say that, but thank God for videos. Thank God for replay. And it's all on social media, honey. You said what you say. And you sitting there jumping and slapping your fat ass in the pool and you don't look good. I mean, I don't understand what you're trying to portray. I don't understand what people are trying to look out because you're from love and hip hop and because you're, 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 you're somebody, but come on now. When you said that, I was like, did you even think that you, did you even think that you even knew what you said? Or did you even believe? Obviously you didn't because you sitting there clapping your nails and you talking with your 
mouth full or whatever or you I don't know. You said what you said, okay? And when you said it, you said it and then you turned around and you said, Oh, I didn't say that, I didn't say that, I didn't say that, I didn't say you did say it. So I said, yo, you clearly you clearly hear him say please him absolutely disgusting. Then he's going to straight deny it. Like he's openly said it on camera. Okay, so you need to give this man donkey up today because he is disgusting. And it's not no allegedly, I've seen it right there when he was live on his Instagram. And then not only that, people on his Instagram, because people who recorded him, screen recorded, people on his Instagram in the comments to say, no, not the kids, not kids, not kids, no, 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 not the kids. No, and then they're like, what the, huh, huh, what, that's disgusting, disgusting, you know, like, I didn't say that, try to say, oh, then try to be badass, and talk about, oh, I didn't say that, and I don't play with this mother, please, so, donkey of the day, you know, you need to go to Love and Hip Hop, Saucy Santana, okay, accusing of being inappropriate with child at a gay pool party. I don't know about, I didn't see, I, well they said it was a kid there, however, I just heard him say on camera that kids have sex with him. He said that. You can't deny it because it's there. That's why I said in the beginning that uh, anything, you can, anything you say will be used against you, okay? That's like when I go to the next story when they say that people react to uh, Billy Porter when he had uh, talked about the Emmy nomination, right? So he said something, and it was something, a reaction that he said when he had received his Emmy or something, and I said, sometimes people will use your own words against you. But that's exactly what they did to him, or trying to do for him. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up real quick. Uh, let's go back into auto map. Auto map. And, okay, we need 375. We're gonna uh, speed it up here for time. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know when Madison in the morning coming back in home. Mm. Uh, she did say that the Queen Supreme Court. Coming on um, the end of August. She in LA. I don't know. You have to go to our page and you have to follow her to find out all that detail, all that good ghetto, red, good ghetto. Um, well, I ain't no ghetto. According to people, it's like they hate on her because they jealous. That's why. Yeah, we, and that's in Maddie Mom News. Yeah, we can actually add that in Maddie Mom News. Maddie Mom News. Because they hating on her. They don't even want to congratulate. They want to hate on her. Because she a black entrepreneur. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. This is what he said. He said that the book that she wrote, she don't get no funds from that. The music that she produced, she don't get no funds for that. If she don't get no funds for that, why the hell would she be working for other people like doing that? But I don't understand. That book, the book that he's referring to, I actually, when the library was open, I actually uh, referred that book to a lot of people off of Amazon. And I posted a copy on my uh, Facebook, and I got a like from C.S. Madison. She ain't say anything about don't promote that book because that book is not my book. She ain't say nothing about that. She ain't say anything. She liked it. So, I don't understand. Thing with Stephen Shade, I don't understand. I don't understand how uh, he um, he says that she don't own that book. Like, you see how he putting dirty, dirty, dirty stuff out there? Like, come on now. And you want to have him as um, a management? So look, we see uh, Colorado Springs, city of Colorado Springs. Uh, 
if you guys are looking for the view, it's down here in the box. Uh, I need to count the waypoints. You just fix it. Oh wow, we got the moon. Yeah, because we're actually going and coming from, so we're going to uh, JFK. We left from uh, LAX. Okay, this plane. I want to try to get that that uh, that moon in. Yeah, that's beautiful right there. But yeah, it is what it is, man. So Brandy. Brandy says she's in discussion about a possibility of Moesha, most of the Ita, reboot in a new interview. Now, I'm a big fan of the Parkers. And I know Courtney Vaughn was on Moesha, as well as the late uh, Andell Smith. Uh, Andell, you know, the friend of So, I like the Parker. But, well, I'm going to say however, the characters are not going to be the same. Unless they're going to do it like the Roto Chronicles. They do it online. I don't know. But that would be great to see more to come back. I still cry today to this boy is mine, the song, and nothing, those are my two favorite songs, but shout out to Moesha, I haven't even seen the, um, the, um, the special on Netflix yet, but it ain't going nowhere, right, but it just came out there, so, I, mean, I probably already seen it on YouTube, and I heard the Parkers is coming on there too, because I, I can't wait to see that. Funny. And in support of the LGBTQ and I, they need to put Noah's Ark on there. Like this first season, second season, like, come on now. I don't understand why y'all actually protecting the rights of that. I mean, everybody that's seen it for 15 years, honey. I mean, you know how many spinoffs that Noah's Ark has created? The for so many people, a lot. I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. And actually, I went to go look for that video online, and I can't even find it. Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, so I know my last waypoint. Okay. <coughs> Let's spend some time in the cockpit. Pro. I know the last time that I counted, I had 15 waypoints. My last waypoint is GEPGE. -E -E. When I get to the air, I will be low on myself. In Colorado, no, we still got miles and miles to do. I can't even move. Again. I can't even move over. That's why I said to the game, if you can implement the time to like really appoint a flight plan that literally tell us how long it takes us to get to our destination. Because right now we will never know. You see we already trying to struggle to find this um the waypoint up here. It's covered. Ah. Okay, the next waypoint is KB 54 a 75 heading, speed, not at 394 altitude at 40,000. Climbing 49,000. Again, we are uh, carrying uh, supplies from, J uh, from LAX to JFK, to New York. Uh, we only have about an hour and six minutes, and did we call it Yeah, so, um, now, my 
my cat now. I know everybody. Well, first of all, I am a new parent. I adopted a cat. His name is Ernesto, but he's not going by Ernesto. He's going by Butts. And not only that, he was in my room last night because, and I think I'm going to try to set up a camera when I go to bed because he was in the room and I he getting bigger now. So I'm actually changing his food. I'm actually changing his uh, his uh, litter, getting him a bigger pan, get him some more toys. Uh, I got him some catnip. He's not into the catnip now, but he will be. Trust me, he will, because all cats like trust uh, catnip. He's now cleaning himself. <laughs> that is like the um, the funniest part to see is when my cat cleans himself. He actually, when I first got him, uh, he, and I got a picture of him when I first got him, and he was tiny. Now, he was growing. And he is, uh, I think, probably before my birthday, which is the 29th of August, I think he's going to get bigger than I think than I expected. Uh, even though he's going on 12 weeks, 13 weeks, he's big. Uh, he's eating a lot. Now, I got to I control myself feeding him because I, I forget that I have the dry food already out for him. And I also, on top of that, I give him treats as well as his, his uh, canned food goods. So he spoil you. Like, every time he go to bed, he always have a fat ass stomach. Uh, and I know, like, I looked it up and I, I know they say it's good because, you know, the cat sleep and eat and stuff. But, um, it's just, it, it, I'm sorry, if, they, if, if you know when... A human being is, is a, a cat like a human being. I get it. But when when you can't eat no more, honey, you can't eat no more. And if you can't eat no more, you can't eat no more. So, if I give it to him, he can eat it. I mean, he's already eating dry food. He's drinking his water. He's peeing. He's doing whatever he can So, he's a cat. But I think that he's going to be a really big cat. Very big cat. So he's learning how to clean himself. He's literally licking under, he's like he's doing his chin thing, licking under, licking all that pouch and white stuff under. And he's taking his hand and he's licking his face and everything. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, so, oh, he doesn't go by our nest store anymore. He just, he go by Butts, that's his name. So I really think he was in here last night because when I went to bed, I left the door open and I didn't really knew he was gonna come in the room. When I woke up, the garbage can was flipped over. <laughs> I could have did that. I don't flip no garbage can over. Like, come on now. When I woke up, the garbage can was flipped over and it had the trash on the floor. I was like, there could not have one person that did this and it wasn't me. But that's good because now he's finding his way around because he has not been in certain parts of the house. There's still more to explore. He just want to stay under the couch. Or he wants to stay. I got a box now that I have. Um, I'm going to speed this up. I have a box now that, you know, he, um, he plays in. Feel me? So. And I'm like, look. I try to get the toys for him. I have, um, I have a spiral toy for him. I have uh, some bands for him. I have uh, like two dolls, three dolls for him. He chews on a doll. I think he's coming along with Chicago at uh, Can't even zoom out anymore. I can Okay, we're about to reach Minneapolis. Wichita, yeah, we way out there. The coordinates is right here. Okay, uh, yep, let me see, I want to see the, um, I don't think so, I don't think that's the same waypoint, um, that it has on the game, I think it's two different waypoints, I think one waypoint is the game waypoint, the other one is, uh, you know, the real waypoint, I don't think, because, you know, like I said before, the only traffic in the sky is the planes, helicopters, and jets, and all that. The only thing that's talking to you in 
traffic control. Like, there's no stop light, stop, go, wait, heal. Not in the sky, no. So you have air traffic control that's going to help you uh, manage, like, your, you know, your radar. And they're dealing with the weather. So right now, we're still at 39,000 feet over everything right now. But we don't see these airplanes. According to this radar here, I mean, they do big, fake planes that are literally in the area. Uh, we have to change our heading to 78. Uh, come on. Okay, there we go. There's Minneapolis. So, yeah, we're actually... Oh, we're getting here. 78. Still doing it. It's getting dark out. We are know it's dark already. Okay, so... What are we doing? All right, so... Um, I wanted to see uh, what was the... Uh, Light. Can you see this? Oh, cause I don't want that messing up. Okay, shout out to um, my cousin Jerome. Shout out to him. Also, shout out to Nate Love, shout out to Jake Kwan, shout out to uh, Shout out to Princess Diamond. I think she got a new whip. Shout out to her, she deserves it, I mean. She just had a birthday too, so yeah, congratulations. That probably was a birthday gift. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to look for the, uh, the flight plan for JFK to or well, LEX to JFK because I want to make I want to see if they have these same waypoints on them. I doubt it. Yeah, it was a really bad song. It was a really bad song. I had to sing the song. There's a storm out in the ocean and it's moving this way. So I had to continue to sing that song because. I knew that, you know, there was like winds that I've, I've seen that I've had to experience for a long time. I've seen uh, a tree, not a tree fall, but there's a tree that's laying literally in the middle of the ground. Like nobody can't even get off that tree until probably, it's probably going to be until in the morning uh, to get rid of it. So we're going to do heading 79. 79. All right. Uh, all right. So yeah, uh, again, uh, uh, yeah, I hope everybody's having a great, great Tuesday night. Um, actually, the farmers market was out there. I was kind of surprised that they were still out there because, um. It was really, really rainy, and it was really, really windy. And I was like, well, why would they even risk themselves to be out there to even allow just, you know, you put it up, take it down, and then once when it comes, it's like, you're too late. So just don't do it. It's okay. Like, one day you can miss one day, but uh, your life is important, but they feel that getting their sales is much more important. So, you know, I don't know. Um, it is what it is. So, uh... 78, gotta uh, move over. See, like, these things right here, I think there are other air airplanes in the game. I am still can't, I still am trying right now to find these places. Yeah, I think it's time for me to get, like, another cat, box, cat litter box from my, um, my poor cat, not poor cat, but because he's getting bigger and he's fueling all the uh, the paper bits on the floor from his cat box. And it's like, okay, that's about to change because I have the cat litter that is going to be even better than that. And then I'm going to now um, try to find a bigger hand. Okay, so this would be flight to LAX. Okay, time. 
ช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่โอเค what's all this the pins is okay cool the band eh? that's not we're not coming up Wait, man, Air Force Base. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> Even if we did try to do an emergency landing, we're at 40,000 feet. And the airport. KMCI, Kansas City Airport, wow. right. I can't see it from here. You see the lights and stuff going off? No, you can't see it from here. That's the problem with lights. It would be um, over there. But with the clouds and everything, it's like you can't see anything with kind of all the clouds. It's far over there, you definitely don't see that. Time. I think my last video was like over two hours. What? Oh, Uh, realistic uh, weather. I'm just waiting for waypoint the D E G G. And then I have to start descending. Fuck now. Wow. Unbelievable. We're so far. So far. I thought I got that time button. I always wanted to attempt this again. I mean, I even was going to fly all the way from Honolulu back to LAX. Like, uh, I could have already done that already. And uh, just pinpoint it, which I did it, and then I just say I'll fly from LAX to JFK. At least I traveled across the board. And then my next flight, I mean, I couldn't take it back. I would probably do a connecting flight. Do something. I wonder if they really get a last meal on death row. I'm pretty sure they do. They get anything they want, right? Or specifically change to anything on a meal. The menu that they have. Lobster, steak, so I could be full. So when I leave this earth, I could be fat. Not fat, but not starving either. Rapper, oh, see the rapper, wow, we far out. One more time, come on, go, go, come on. Why do the friendly guys? I think speed reached today 
119, 119, 119, 119, 119 miles per hour. If it was 119, I'd get your ass by. 119 miles per hour speed, you'll only find that on um, Mars. Because who would want to be around something that's going under 110 miles per hour? Especially when you're going to have a lot of things that's going to be ripped off the building, a lot of windows, glass, everything, cars, toys, tsunamis, everything. And you want that. Okay. P I M O D. Don't let me move over. Things gonna move it from me. Oh yeah, I counted 15 of them, man. 15, 5. Okay, I gotta go put them in the box. Right back. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna give him the nickname Wayne the Red, so he's not answering that. So his name is But Doofus. being a parent, right? Fine. 86. Again, we are on our way to JFK. Delivering some important information. Sorry, it's one item. Okay, waypoint, uh, still looking for GET, G. Yeah, so I'm going to set the camera up. I'll probably set the camera up to try to catch him in the act, because I know he, I got a camera, but I got to set it up. And we can record hours, like, we can record eight, eight, nine hours, because I recorded myself going to sleep. And I was sleep for eight hours, seven hours, and I got up, the camera was still on. So I can record him, and I don't know how to put it out, because he's one of those old, old cameras, but I think the CD will fit in the CD uh, bracket. Uh, so yeah. I haven't recognized anything yet. Charlotte, North Carolina, we know about North Carolina. Mm. 
No. It is the five law. Okay. Normal. Eighty-seven. Hey, that's Chicago over there. Chicago O'Hara Airport. We got Chicago Midway Airport, Chicago. Yeah, it's dark. Heading 888. Then we're going to have to change it. Matter of fact, I'm counting. Nah, I don't want to do that. It's going to waste my time. 90. I was going to go. I was going to go to Chicago. Okay, this is going to be a heading that we're going to have to turn sporadically. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Heading eighty-five. Okay. So we are now... Uh, yeah, I was going to go to Chicago. And we can stop over there. That would be hot to do like something from like over here to over there. Uh, let's take a look outside. Oh yeah. There's no yeah, we went far, we in different we are in a different time zone, that's what it is. This is uh eight seventeen over there. So we're in a different time zone, we're far from the map. We're definitely coming into darkness. We're actually going on eleven o'clock. Oh, but there's 11.17 in, uh, New York. And the moon was discovered, but again, we're playing, uh, I'm playing real life situation. Speed it up. Speed it up. Time. Car shot this head here. Oh, boy. That's when I land at JFK. Hope everybody is enjoying the stream. If you are here, please like. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I am live on YouTube and I'm live on Facebook. Hello. This is stream landing. I have just left. I, I didn't just leave. I've been left from uh, JFK. I mean, from LAX Airport. And I'm heading to JFK. Riding a uh, cargo plane, carrying cargo goods. They asked and we delivered. 86 is ahead. 86, 86. Thank God for autopilot. County Miami, no. That's all the way down, down. We just passed Illinois, Chicago, we went to Illinois. Heading 87. We got all this over here. And they're gonna let us go over there because it's gonna change time. We gotta go in different zones. Wop. Wopity wop. Yeah, uh, I can't even move it over like that. Probably like that. Well, uh, I'm just looking for Waypoint GEPGE. -E. That's the way it's my other band, and I'll just go ahead and start lowering altitude. We have 40,000 feet altitude. We are high in the sky. Uh, can you get a bird strike? Uh, I'm not really sure if you can get a bird strike. I don't think so. I think the only thing that happens is that the uh, engine was failed. Because you have to fire a couple of water on the engine. 
have to extinguish it out and once you do that uh, you can't use it again because it's blown it's not working so then you have to determine whether or not the fuel that you have on board is going to be either suitable and enough to go and get you from point A to point B. If you have too much, it can dump you because the gas is overloaded and not, you know, so, you know, no, we don't want a catastrophe. So we have to follow the regulations and guidelines just as well. Uh, any aircraft in the United States has to follow. This is air. Uh, uh, airplane that allows you to carry cargo across this every different city to city and every city is different when it comes to regulations okay so we have to change our point uh, which is going to be 87 and it is at 87 uh -huh. 86 wait what the heck is going on here all right, speed it up. So these, again, these must be other airlines or other airplanes in the sky. All right. I don't know. Well, actually, I do know. The games, the games that I checked on social media, I mean, on Steam is not on sale right now. So I just have to wait. So project, I'm in a project for um, Bus Simulator 18. Yeah, that's not on sale. Extension, no. So I gotta, I gotta, um, find it. So I see myself. Speed it up. Yeah, like I said, they probably have to do this every day. So, uh, let's see, 86. Again, like I said, when I see that uh, GEP GE waypoint, uh, you gotta start going down. So right now, um, I didn't even count the waypoint. Uh, I do know that we are not even closer. So again, if you just join into the extreme landing. Extreme Landing Episode 3 from Los Angeles to JFK Delivering supplies and all that good good stuff We did a transit for about over an hour, 35 minutes Mean time, I don't know Real time, an hour and 35 minutes Um, my friend's doing okay. He's doing all right. He's doing good. He um going to uh he going to uh rehabilitation center. I'm sorry. Oh no. Well, they say he had a he said, he said since he had um the whole thing in his back and everything. Uh, he got to take him to rehab, so you know he's got to turn from there. I do know that that's the same one that um, Luke Evangel that a couple of stars was there in that house, in that um, home, well, therapy home. Pennsylvania. 
Very slow. Again, if I had to pass in these planes, that. Alright, that's the job done. So, I, um, God, I wish I could show you our results, but when you really put black nail polish on your nail, it does grow. It helps your nail grow. It really grew with my nail. My nail grew. You gotta do it every other nail, not every nail. Okay, we in another part. Go miss. Oh, we're getting there. I gotta see. Like I said, I want to see. Uh... Okay, we got eight. Uh, waypoint A B R A W. Pittsburgh. That's where um my friend Neon at Pittsburgh. But yeah, nail polish actually really help your nails grow. And uh, I put nail polish on every other nail, and it grew. I took that off. And I they actually gone, man. They are really long. Cargo. Uh, from LAX. Oh, uh, the plane's in a box, though. Just don't have to do it to speed it up. I thought we could get a son of the app. I'll, uh, nah, nah. How do Yeah, if I keep it this way, it go much faster. If I uh, do it the other way, it's not going to be able to go faster. I need to go faster. Again, we're another time. I'm just waiting for a waypoint. G E T G E. So I can start the symptom. Oh, that's the next one. That's the next one, y'all. Alright, so we have now come to this waypoint now. We're going to start going down because we are on our way to JFK. Which is um, right here. Okay, there. Once we get there, we're gonna dip down to um, 30. Okay. I'll still have to go down 91. 
Okay, okay, okay. Wow, we traveled all across the country. From LA to JFK. They do this every day. They have flights like this every day. Okay, so when we get to the waypoint of G E P G E waypoint, I'm gonna start decreasing the altitude to bring the plane down. It's gonna be dark. It's eleven thirty one over there. It don't really say, but it, it don't really have uh, the same waypoint as that from LA to uh, York or CJFK. It doesn't say. It. I mean, it does say, but these waypoints, I don't see any of them. It does, I don't see this GE waypoint. Thank you, five. Thank you, five. Okay, we are almost at this waypoint. When we're at this waypoint, we're going to actually lower and increase. Lower. 98. Okay, that's all we're going to on us. And 3, 2, 1. Okay, next one, JFK. JFK, start coming down. Let's go uh, ahead and bring it down. Okay, we're going down. now almost approaching JFK. We have to bring this altitude down. Let's see, let's see. Okay, uh... Hi.
Podcast. Thank you for. And then here I have to do for right here. Okay. Good. Now on our way. My even take control. Okay, let's go ahead and take control of the wheels. Uh, Alright, so we're almost here. So let's um, bring it down more. Here. And then okay, I'm going to go ahead and take it over. Alright, so we are passing. Uh, Let's see the old one out of here. Come down a little more. Uh, JFK is on our right. We should start seeing the... I forgot what those lights are called. The Paleo lights. Okay, we see him in the distance. Alright, honey, we are now, we have arrived, honey, and the spotlight is on me. Um, we gotta bring our speed down. So that's the longest one. Uh, yeah, let me just go here. I'm gonna come here and then come this way. Coming into let's see, that first one right there, the first one. Okay. I mean, I didn't even think we got with that long, but I could have came in that one, but so oh, good. <clears throat> Either first one or the second one. Uh, I'll do the first one. Slide, I gotta line it up. Use your, uh... 2500. The rotors, to line up. Okay. I can't hear it falling out. Okay. Cargo that we got, bro. Well, this 
landed in JFK, man. Yeah, landed in JFK. That's a good landing. Oh, Boom. Turn off engine to refill. I mean, where else am I going? I'm not going anywhere else. Oh, we got to turn off the engine. Turn off the engine. He just pop, 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 pop. I mean, I don't know what we've been feeling for. I'm not going anywhere else. You see? Going back. No, I'm good. It should end it. Uh, refilling completed. All right, cool. That's what's up. I have arrived, honey, and the spotlight is on me. We have arrived in JFK from LaGuati. I mean, from, uh, we have arrived from, uh, oh, we can't go anywhere. All right. So, yep, there we go. We just landed here in New York City, JFK. With the cargo plane from Los Angeles. All right, now, so, uh, okay, boom. All right, so uh, let me go into here. Okay, boom. It is what it is. All right, so uh, shout out to everyone. Okay, so yeah, shout out to everyone who uh, tuned in to the broadcast. Uh, right here, right now, and this has been another episode of Extreme Landing, Season 1, Episode 3, August 4th, 2020. All right, so again, I have landed over here in uh, JFK from uh, Los Angeles. We delivered the cargo, we delivered the package, and that's what it is. Oh, yeah, saying it's over. Okay, whatever. Okay, cool. So... It is what it is. All right. So, again, I'm Kareem Clemens. I want to thank you guys for watching, tuning in on social media network and also Facebook and YouTube. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Bye.